If any brand has come the closest to making the perfect van, it has to be Mercedes-Benz. The Mercedes-Benz Sprinter has won countless awards, has legions of loyal customers and has improved like a fine wine through more than 20 years of gradual refinements. The latest third-generation model is no exception, but in the current digital age the Sprinter, a humble van, is trying to keep up with the trends by adding connectivity and voice control to its repertoire of talents. Power comes from a four-cylinder 2.1-liter diesel unit with 111 bhp, 143 bhp and 163 bhp or from a 3.0-liter diesel V6 engine producing 187 bhp. A 6-speed manual gearbox is standard across all vans, but a 9-speed 9G Tronic automatic option is available on front-wheel drive vans and a 7-speed 7G Tronic plus automatic gearbox as an option for rear-wheel drive and V6 engine sprinters. Rather than having different trim levels, Mercedes allows the sprinter to be customized with various option packs. Available extras include the driver pack, comfort pack, premium pack, active safety pack, lane tracking pack and comfort pack plus these include equipment like parking sensors and electric heated door mirrors right through to less obvious options like covered storage compartments or an adjustable steering wheel the six-speed manual gearbox is well paired to all the engine options and as such there's little need to opt for the nine-speed automatic if you do need a automatic gearbox However, the 9G Tronic is a smooth unit that responds quickly to kickdown requests and seamlessly shifts up and down through the gears. Our biggest gripe is with one of the safety features that has been introduced to make the van even better. Along with adaptive cruise control, lane keeping assist is a safety feature designed to make motorway miles, in particular, much easier and safer. Yet, in the Sprinter lane keeping is corrected through the use of the brakes rather than the steering. The net result is severe braking on the opposite side of the vehicle to the direction you're straying in which prevents you leaving the lane. The downside is sometimes a significant reduction in speed which can startle other drivers, but in the Sprinter's defense, Mercedes says the drastic braking is in fact to startle the driver to make sure they adjust their driving wayward driving. The Ford Transit has been an icon in the van market since it was launched in 1965 and has held an unprecedented grip on the title of best-selling van in the UK. Its name is synonymous with big vans, but with the Transit range now being broken down into subdivisions of Transit, Transit Custom, Transit Connect and Transit Courier, the Transit name is more prevalent than ever. As well as revising its engines in 2019 to meet the ever stricter Euro 6D emission standards, Ford took the opportunity to update the Transit more comprehensively. Hence, there's a new grille, which is a subtle alteration to the existing design, as well as some crease lines in the bonnet to toughen up the front end appearance. The main engine choice is a 2.0 liter diesel with the same outputs as in the previous Transit, of 103 bhp. 129 bhp and 168 bhp but a new 182 bhp unit has also been added as ever there are front and rear wheel drive vans with the higher powered variants also available with four wheel drive a six speed manual gearbox comes as standard although rear wheel drive transits can now be had with a 10 speed automatic gearbox then there is the new range of mild hybrid engines which improve fuel economy by as much as 
These extend the time that the engine is not used when you're stationary at traffic lights or queuing. That means the engine is switched off for longer and more fuel is saved. Three trim levels, Base, Trend and Limited, are available, and all have a wide range of options that can be added. Although it is the UK's best-selling large van, the Transit faces stiff competition from the van world's other big household name, the Mercedes Sprinter, as well as the likes of the Fiat Ducato, Volkswagen Crafter, Nissan NV400 and Peugeot Boxer. Despite its size, the Ford Transit is a great driver's van, thanks to its responsive steering. It is quite heavy, which adds to the feeling that you're driving a big vehicle, but once you get to know it, the Transit is pretty nimble. Stiffer underpinnings than in previous generations ensure that the van corners better and helps to limit body lean if you go around bends quickly. It's a much more engaging van to drive than the Mercedes Sprinter, for sure, although it isn't as smooth. The Transit's suspension is firm and can result in some bouncing around, particularly when unladen, but add some weight, even a small amount, and it's a settled and smooth ride. Of the four engines on offer, we'd recommend the 103 bhp entry-level model for its overall performance. Because of the low down torque on offer, it has a more than adequate amount of power, even for a large van. If you're going to really maximize the payload of a van with a 3.5 ton or greater gross vehicle weight, though, one of the higher outputs will be necessary. And if you really want lots of power at your disposal, the new 182 bhp variant is the one to choose. A 6-speed manual gearbox is standard, and although it's a little notchy and requires a firm hand to find each gear, the high overall gearing makes the transit well suited to motorway driving, with low noise levels.
the Renault Master has been a staple of vans, motorhomes and emergency vehicles across Europe for decades. Like its smaller sibling the Renault Traffic, it has cemented its reputation as one of the most popular light commercial vehicles, rivaling the best-selling Ford Transit as well as the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter, Volkswagen Crafter and Peugeot Boxer. The Master stands up to close scrutiny against the competition as a versatile and practical choice. Available in four different body lengths, with three possible roof heights, the Master can transport up to 17 cubic meters. Body options include minibus, crew van, dropside, tipper, box van, platform cab and chassis cab. Most vans are front-wheel drive but there are also rear-wheel drive and 4x4 options. Power comes from a 2.3-liter engine that meets the latest Euro 6D emission standards, with up to 180 bhp and 295 pounds featuring Don't forget the Renault Master Z electric vehicle, either, if you want zero emissions and larger tax breaks. The Master is also available at a number of different gross vehicle weights below 3.5 tons, as well as a large van plated at 4.5 tons. Regular 3.5-ton panel vans will transport as much as 1,524 kilograms, but the 4.5-ton Master can move as much as 2,158 kilograms, or 2,471 kilograms as a chassis cab. Consequently, twin and single rear-wheel options are available on some configurations. Revised in 2010, this latest version was updated in 2019 with a more upright grille with a higher bonnet line, while the headlights now include the new C-shape identity that appears across the Renault range. The bumpers were also modified to make them more robust. Like its closest competition, the Ford Transit and Volkswagen Crafter, the Sprinter has a wealth of body types to choose from and has also now added a front-wheel drive configuration to the existing rear-wheel drive and four-wheel drive options. There are four body lengths, three roof heights and, in addition to panel van models, there are crew cabs, chassis cabs, chassis crew cabs, dropside bodies and minibus tourer versions. 